The components required for this experiment are ESP32 board, flame sensor, breadboard, LED, buzzer, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now go to the Arduino IoT Cloud website, click on the sign in button, here enter the username and password and click sign in. Now from the left side menu click on things and here create a new thing, for that click this plus thing button. Now we can give a name for this thing, click rename and here give the name as fire alert notification and click on rename button. Now we need to add a variable. So the variable name is fire detected and the variable type is boolean because in Arduino IoT cloud it will accept only boolean and the string variables. Select boolean, here no need to do any changes and click on add variable button. Now we need to associate the device. Click on the select device button, here click set up new device and then select third party device, here we are using ESP32 board. So select ESP32 and the model is ESP32 dev module. Click on continue button, here we can give any device name, tech trends fire alert. So this is the device name which I gave, click on next. Here copy the secret key, select this checkbox and click continue and then click done. Now we can configure the network, click on this configure button, here enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password, here paste the secret key which we copied and click save. Now we need to set up the trigger, for that go to this menu, here click the triggers menu. Here click create trigger, now rename this trigger as fire alert and click rename button. Now we need to link the variable, click this cloud variable, so this is our thing name and the variable is fire detected, click on this variable and then select link variable button. Now we need to do the actions, we have email and the push notifications for mobile. So first click send email, so if the condition is satisfied it will send an email. So we need to give the subject and body for the email, fire detected. We can give the same in the email body, now click send push notification. So here also we can give the same and click on the done button. Initially the trigger will be in the off state, we need to turn on this trigger to get the alert. Click this and turn on the trigger. Now again go back to things menu, click this thing. Now go to sketch, here the basic template is generated and we need to add the logic. So I wrote the program already, so I am copy pasting the code. 
let me explain the program so here the sensor pin is connected to pin number d2 and the positive of led is connected to pin d5 and the buzzer pin is connected to pin number d4 so if the fire is detected so it will call this function and it will call the activate led and the activate buzzer function also so if there is any fire it will send an alert so if no fire the, the alert won't be sent and also the buzzer will turn on if there is any fire is detected now upload the program to the esp32 board so here the board is already associated with the device now click this arrow button and upload the program to the esp32 board now the program is successfully uploaded to the esp32 board and now we can check the output we can also check the alert in the email